Hello and welcome back to this video series on building forms quickly in REDCap brought to you by the NYU Health Sciences Library. In the previous video, we discussed using the shared libraries feature of REDCap to quickly import pre-built questionnaires into our project, which can be useful when we're working with measures that others have created, such as validated measures or standard questionnaires. In this video, we're going to talk about the data dictionary feature of REDCap which can be both challenging when you first start out, but in my experience can really save a lot of time when it comes to building questionnaires. So it's often very useful for working with larger projects. It's just reviewing, you may recall in previous sessions or you may be used to building questionnaires using the standard point and click online designer. Whereas the data dictionary gives us the option to build our questionnaires using a spreadsheet rather than going through question by question to add our individual uh, elements to our forms. So this can be really ideal if, for example, we have a very large questionnaire with many questions that we'll be adding. Uh, it can be useful if we have a source that we're pulling our questions from and we want to just sort of copy and paste all of the questions that we're asking of our participants from an original document that's already been compiled elsewhere. And it can also be really helpful when we're working with questions that may have repeating answer types. By this, I mean, for example, we might have multiple choice where we're continuously asking on a Likert scale from dislike a lot to like a lot or standard answer choices. It can be really useful to use the data dictionary since it allows a lot of copying and pasting functionality. When we go into any given project, I'm actually gonna jump over to our REDCap project, logging in. We can see in any given project, if we look at this one here, last time we pulled in a few standardized measures. And if we go over to the data dictionary, which can also be accessed on this left side with this little Excel icon dictionary, we can download the current data dictionary. I'll just say I agree because there are uh, questionnaires from a uh, from a pre-built uh, pre-built project or from the um, shared libraries there are the user rights we have to agree to. We can go in and we can see a lot of different columns and it can feel often very overwhelming when we first look at this. However, we may note that the first row, which is just sort of our header row, is providing the same sections that we see in the um, online designer. So we have our variable name, we have the form name, which is the individual questionnaire that a given form appears in, we have section headers, which in most cases are going to be blank. Uh, this would be sort of like bolded text above a section of questions. We have the field type, and that's gonna be the type of answer we're expecting. So text box, yes and no, true or false, radio. And then the field label, which again will be the question as it appears to the end user. And then multiple choice answers. Also, if there's calculated fields, they'll appear here. And any calculation will appear with the syntax for the function with the names of the variables to be calculated in square brackets. So here we see our variable names, which form a given question appears in, and the order of the rows will always be the exact order of the questions. So it's important to note we cannot, for example, have another for testing and demonstration purposes down at the bottom. They all must be together as one unit. Section header, field type again, and the question as it appears. One thing we'll note that is a little bit different than the online designer is for multiple choice questions, we'll always have the number, comma, the answer. But now because we don't have multiple lines, we'll use this pipe character to separate out individual variables. And then finally, the field note. So I could, for example, create a new questionnaire down at the bottom and working off this form uh, that we use in our, in our our live classes, I'll make this happiness questionnaire. We can see we've got a bunch of yes and no's and then a bunch of never through always. So there's one, two, three yes and no's and two always or not always. So if I jump back to my spreadsheet, I'll just call this happy and I'm gonna drag this down for about five rows. It's important that every uh, question have the correct form name. If there's any that are sort of left hanging, it will give an error when we go to upload it. And I could do yes, no, yes, no. I could also copy and paste that down. I'm just going to use this 
green square that works as the copy and paste radio radio and we can jump over and I can copy and paste control C jumping back I believe the bold formatting is not something I'll need to worry about because this is going to be a CSV file Redcap always works with CSVs, which are a very basic file format. They can be opened in uh, Excel spreadsheets, but they're actually, they're very basic. They stand for comma separated values. So if we were to open it in a text editor, each column would be a, um, would be its own, would just have a comma between it. And that's what the CSV, comma separated values. And each row would just be a row in the text editor. So any of these sort of bolding formatting that we, uh, might see it would go away when we save it as a CSV. So we can do zero, no, one, yes. And because that's going to be the same for these top three, again, I can just copy and paste down. And here we can do, just jumping over, never to always. So zero, never, pipe one, uh, rarely, pipe two, Sometimes, pipe three, often, pipe four, always. And now rather than having to type that out again, I can just copy that down. I'll not worry about the calculation quite yet, but we'll just type in variable names, whoops, speech, cook, test, uh, daily, weekly. And then for most of these other columns, we don't really need to worry about them. In most cases, or not in all cases, where we have a field note validation, that would be things like what date format, uh, text validation uh, for, I believe those are minimums and maximums. Yes, for, for things that are numerical, if it's an identifier or not. So we can remember these are things that appear in the, um, in the online designer, but here we're seeing them over here in the uh, data dictionary. So I can go ahead and hit save, I'm hitting control S. And now if I jump back to RedCap, I can browse, I can upload, we'll see if there's any errors. There was an error, F25, 34, and 35. So we'll go to those, F, and those are actually in the previous form. So it's something that was pre-built in F25, I am not entirely sure what would be causing these issues since they seem to be from the system. And we can just copy over them in case there's any sort of issues. And control S. And let's just try it. Browse, upload, and this time it's fine. And then the last step is we have to commit changes. Something really important to note is when we work in the data dictionary, every field that's in the data dictionary will be what's there. So if we were to, for example, delete out the top section and only upload our new questions, that would delete out all those questions in the project. And unless we've saved a backup, there's no way to get it back. So when we hit commit changes, we're overwriting our existing project. So everything that will appear here should appear in our project. If we go to add a demo record, we can see we now have our happiness form and we have these options here. So in this case, there were only five questions, it may have been just as fast to have used the online designer, but we could imagine if we had 90 questions and many of them repeated with yes and no and many repeated with this never through always scale we could copy and paste much more quickly than we could enter in each of those questions question by question in the next video we'll talk about how to use the calculated field to add that last um, total score using the data dictionary